All right, our kid. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, doing, we should draw Nigel Pavaro, Pivaro, aka Terry Duckworth from Coronation Street. Why? Why, Darren? Um, I'm working on a little pull out for my monthly zine, which uh, I started last week, I think. If you're a member of my Patreon, then there's a certain tier where you get a monthly zine physically sent out to you. Okay, and this is going to be a little pull out for it. And I'm already running out of space and this title thing because I didn't work it out I just jumped straight in this is fine it's how I work it's how I work what I'll do this will get scanned in and um, resized <laughs> dear me what a mess anyway this polite is going to be pictures of sexy guys from Coronation Street <laughs> and I'm starting off with Terry Duckworth <laughs> what's going to happen going to be a fold open thing when you unfold it going to be a poster, an Air 4 poster of Chris Quintin. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? <laughs> I love it. This is bad. This is bad. That might go, but I'm going to draw Pivaro now, Nigel. Terry Duckworth. It's, which is also going to be bad, but it's going to be funny. So let's just go for it. He's got a shifty eyes, shifty eyes, shifty eyes, do, 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 shifty eyes. Tremendous bags under his eyes. Probably been out all night the night before. He was quite the party animal, seemed to remember. Loved the fame. I believe he's still acting. He's probably not quite the party animal anymore. But yeah. Terry Duckworth. Bad boy, wasn't he? Bad boy. He was mates with Curly Watts, but um, unlikely friendship going on there. Curly was studious and he was a good, good boy. Terry was far from it. Was he, mate? It's just because Curly used to lodge with his mum and dad. Maybe Curly had no choice but to be, be mates with him. I've not seen Corey in years. Decades it would be. Still going. He used to be... used to be funny. And lots of... Um, very small comedy uh, in amongst the drama but I, do, I believe I saw someone complaining recently that there's like murder after murder after murder <laughs> which is stupid really is how many murders can you have on one street most streets don't ever have a murder. Yeah. I think you can do a soap opera without having a murder in it. I really do. T 
TV writers don't think that though. What do I know? Anyway, Terry Duckworth, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to be funny about these is obviously the way I draw. They're going to be far from sexy studs, aren't they? They're going to be rather grotesque. So who else is going in this? Well, front page it's Duckworth. Off the page, you got Dev, a later character, but he was a bit of a sex bomb. Famously uh, had a steamy relationship with Deidre. Uh, speaking of Deidre, we're going to have Ken Barlow, who works his way through the ladies of the streets. And finally, before I mention Curly Watts, unlikely sex symbol, but he's going in there as a stud from the street because it makes me laugh. <laughs> Get Terry's head. And he's everything. Terry's everything. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. You know what, the lettering's coming later. I will tip X over the lettering. And just draw, draw across it. Because I don't like it, didn't plan it. Let this be a lesson to you viewers. Sometimes it helps to plan a drawing. Not always. Don't always need to plan a drawing. But in this case, I think you do. So let's just do that. Studs of the... Give this a shake. Watch the camera wobble. You've probably noticed from my videos that I rarely plan anything. Whether that's the drawing itself or what I'm going to say. One thing I don't want this to turn into is work. I may change my mind if I get 500,000 subscribers, but who knows? Not yet. Speaking of work, back to the monthly zine Patreon. Isn't that going to be a lot of work? Yeah, it is going to be some work. Um, and the minute I committed to it, I thought, oh shit. Um, but the zine is mostly going to be a collection of drawings from that month and I draw a lot anyway so you know these drawings were going to be made what's going to be nice is that there's going to be a record of these drawings physical record rather than just um, sitting on my hard drive as a scan and in my drawer, in my filing drawers, as a unseen piece of paper. So, so in that respect, I think it's quite nice to be able to get it out there. Um, and the main bit of work is going to be putting it all together. Some pieces are being done purely for the zine, like this. But that's nice, it's, it, it's a little creative output for me. But most of it will be just a collection of what I've drawn that month. And the fun bit will be laying it out and seeing, you know, the various juxtapositions in some of the imagery. goes with what all that sort of stuff that'll be fun this is fun already I'm liking Terry's face so my patreon that particular tier is five pounds a month so you're getting that zine plus all the other stuff 
for a fiver. Which is not bad, I don't think. Some zines will be bigger than others, depending on what I've drawn that month. But you're not going to get one month where it's just one drawing or anything like that. You won't be taking the piss. And if you're interested, there's a link to my Patreon in the description of this and every video that that I put out. So I do recommend it. The money helps me pay for my site fees for my website, helps me buy equipment. Um, these studio lights that I'm using were purchased thanks to my Patreon subscribers. Basically, the money goes back into the arts. It's a completely separate account. It doesn't get uh, spent on Popeyes burgers and stuff like that. So it is kind of going to um, keep this channel going, really. Uh, particularly as I'm not selling much these days. I've just spoken to a few artist friends and sales are um, hard to come by at the moment. Now you may say, I'm not surprised, Darren. Look at what you're drawing. This is true. I can't, um, I can't argue with that. How many people are actually going to put their hands in the pocket for a studs from the street pamphlet. Yeah, I understand. But I have to follow have to follow my artist instincts. <laughs> Van Gogh suffered for his art and so shall I. <laughs> right. Let's carry on with Terry's hair. There we go. There we go. This is looking good. Need some shading here. Must have been a hell of a night. <laughs> there is another tier on Patreon. There's the one pound fifty tier. Um, You'll get to see updates on what I'm doing. I'll talk a little bit about what I've been drawing as well. So, but the one pound fifty thing is is mostly um, there as a way to to say you like what I do. You want me to keep doing it. You'll also get an um, electronic copy of the zine. Um, not worked out what format yet. The first one maybe a bit ramshackle, just the collection of pages uploaded separately. At some point I'm going to change the software I use and there will be um, a PDF version of the zine to download. And hopefully that's soon. Uh, basically, I've got to learn how to use the bloody software. 
the zine will be black and white, by the way, the physical zine, all compiled by hand and printed at home, page by page. Okay, there's a lot of printing, there's a lot of stapling. Uh, quite frankly, I thought, oh my God, all this for Fiverr. <laughs> But there you go, I'm still doing it, still doing it. What's going to go up here, actually, I think is going to be, if it doesn't say Studs of the Street, it's just going to have his name. Possibly just Terry. And then this will get shrunk down a little bit so I can fit the title over the top. I've not decided. I may with the name here. Who knows? Who knows? As I said, I rarely plan stuff properly. I do understand, actually, if you're doing a monthly zine, there needs to be some amount of planning. <laughs> Can you go through this, the Duckworth? Yeah, I may um, add some texture to his suit, but I may do that off camera. It's be quite boring, I think. If you're not bored already, you will be if I do that. But basically, you very much get the gist of this. It's kind of done. If you want to know how it's going to finish, you're going to have to um, become a Patreon, aren't you? And then you're going to have to do it fairly soon. This is going out in the next week. But if you don't, actually, if you join, you're too late for the physical one, you will see the digital version online anyway. So then you see how it's finished. So there we go. A work in progress, but that's my stud from Coronation Street, Terry Duckworth. See you next week. All right, ah, kids. <laughs>